we're live again. Got to work. I just need to restart OBS for some reason. I think it had to do with the game going on full screen or whatever. But I should have set up the. I should have done this after the fact, like rather than beforehand. Let's go ahead and reset the game. Cause you guys gotta see this in its entirety. Holy shit, that was glitchy. Get ready for this. If you've never seen Elf for the Game Boy Advance, it's it's a game that exists for some reason. You know what I really wanted to do for this year that I definitely didn't have enough time to plan out or pan out was to get a bunch of actual Christmas games. Cause there's apparently a lot of there's a lot of them. Some of them actually looked kind of okay. This is not one of them. This is Elf. This is about as much as you'd expect from a movie licensed game for the Game Boy Advance, specifically for Christmas time. Apparently there's a Grinch game for the PS1. But here's the cool part, we have language options. And I forgot about this dumb little thing here, so... There's different language options, and you have to choose up and down to select them. Now, for some reason, if you go to the bottom and go to Italian, you can go straight back up to English if you hit down. However, if you are in English, and you try to hit up, it does not go to Italian. It literally just will not go up. You can go down infinitely, but not up. Alright, let's do story mode, because that's what everybody wants. Oh, and we have options. Music and sound effects, we're gonna need those. Those are very important. And there's no saves, it's a code-based thing. So ready? Here comes the good stuff. Starts out with Buddy the Elf being Buddy the Elf. We have to collect as many candies as we can. It's literally just go from point A to point B. One world record pace so far. I should also remind you, the points in this game do absolutely fucking nothing. The first level is literally just jump to the end. Oh, we got the bad polar bear cycle. Because remember, if you're fighting a polar bear, the easiest thing to do is just jump over it. <laughs> you think a polar bear would be ready for that if you actually like were in the situation? Like, do you think a polar bear would be ready for somebody to just jump right over it? Now, I will tell you right now, this game is about as painfully mediocre as a platforming game can be. The worst part is you can't jump over the polar bear when it's running this way. Oh shit, it's the falling ice school level. I hate this level. Because I get over ambitious with my jumps. Oh, fuck me. Teddy will love this. Oh man. Okay. But I mean, at the same time, how the fuck do you make a video game out of Elf? without making it the most painfully mediocre thing on the planet. You don't even have the things that make Elf, like, enjoyable. I don't know if any of you guys like the movie Elf, but I think it's quite humorous at times. Part of me wants to show you what the animation looks like when you get hit by one of these, but... Oh, I'd already did that, but I didn't think I'd pay attention here. We'll just do it here. It just kind of falls. This game is really easy up until you get to the very end. The last level is just hard for stupid reasons. Let's hurry up and get to New York. Oh yeah, this level is different. It went from you go from collecting nothing to having to collect the letters that create New York. If you can't spell out New York, you're not allowed to go there. <laughs> and I fucked up that jump. I forgot you needed to. How could I forget the important tech? You need to get a double jump in order to get that, and I apparently missed that one. 
All candies. Oh, God, no, that'd be awful. Be hard to really track unless you happen to be the one guy that knows where everything in Elf is located. <laughs> Imagine that being like your magnum opus for gaming is just knowing where all the candy and elf is. I gotta be careful because there's one. Okay, I missed the the letter E. Shit, <laughs> where's E? Uh, I don't remember where it is. How did I miss that? Wait, what? I went all the way back and I didn't find the letter E? Hello? Did I miss something? Did I despawn the letter E? The worst part is the fact that you- if you don't collect all the letters... You can't beat the level. <laughs> Oh, there it is. There we go. Minor time loss. It's nothing we can't come back from. Alright, Nui. Nui. Oh, shit, I thought I forgot it doesn't carry bounces in between the candies. Oh, and that's a double jump bounce. Whatever, fuck New York, it's overrated. The Giants are a shitty team. Imagine it is the current year, 2019, quarter four, and you're still a fan of the New York Jets. Can't forget K. All right, we've gained access to New York in five minutes. My extremely hot wife. <laughs> God damn it, Hexman. Have a Merry Christmas. Alright, this level's literally the worst. It's just straight up butt cheeks. Like, not even the good kind either. Because these platforms are deceptively small. And it's very easy to overjump them and have to do everything over again. Don't you like these banging tunes? Oh god, the polar bear was like in sync with that platform. That was dangerous. What did my boy William Farrell deserve for this? No, I hit the bear! I gotta do all of this over, are you fucking kidding? The collision in this game is extremely unforgiving. I forgot about that part of this. I can't even imagine having to play this on an actual Game Boy Advance with its tiny ass screen. If I was a child at Christmas time, and this is what I got for Christmas as a game, this is the kind of game I would get for Christmas that would... Look at how much I have to do again. This is the kind of game I'd get on Christmas where I would that would make me want to tell Dad about how Mommy is sleeping with the mailman. Like, I'll be the catalyst for the divorce, I don't give a fuck. That's what you get for getting me Elf when I wanted Jack 2 for the PS2. No, it, you're right, it's definitely not worse than Siberia Divorce. <laughs> I don't think anything is. 
but Siberia is the type of game that would cause a divorce and require years of therapy for the family to get back to where they used to be. <gasps> no, I missed the platform! Bad cycle! Wait, no, this is a short platform shit. And I will say this, like Shadow- <laughs> I can't believe I'm drawing parallels here, but like Shadows of the Empire, this game has multiple control schemes and ways to play in certain levels. For the most part, it's mostly just the, uh... running left and right thing. But occasionally you'll get some different levels. No. Ooh, look at that. That was sick. That was cool. That immaculate speed tech. I shouldn't be moving like that. That's a very small platform. I think we're almost out of here, though. I can't even... I can't even remember. How long the levels are. Some of them drag out for way too long. This one in particular is a great example. This whole game drags out for too long because it just exists. How did I fucking miss that jump? Explain. The jumps in this game are unbelievably penalizing. It's okay, we did it. Well done, good job. I can't believe this is just the Christmas equivalent of fucking Shadows of the Empire. Oh, this... this part sucks. This level controls like absolute beans. This is the part of routing the speedrun where I would just give up. Look at how much damage you take from just hitting a candy cane. It, it, realistic indeed, you know, when I'm sliding down a piece of ice down the slopes of the North Pole on the way to New York. Funny enough, like, one year for Christmas, like, when I was visiting my parents, I had my laptop just to fuck around when I was bored. And I actually made an effort to try and route out a speedrun for this game, and I gave up at this part because I hated it so much. And it was like I had a hard time remembering where all these uh, candy canes were. Because they're really just, like, thrown all over the fucking place. There, no, I didn't hit it. I didn't hit that. You guys saw me. You have to believe me. Would I lie about that kind of thing? Where's the next clock? God damn it. There we go. It's another thing. In case you missed it, there's a timer. I have to beat this level under a certain amount of time. It's basically built and catered for the speedrunning audience. This is an entire subculture of speedrunning for Christmas video games. That's just really being slept on right now. Son of a bitch! Yes, GOG does have Arabian Nights. Lucky for me, though, I own a physical copy of Arabian Nights and I have never played the game yet. I should, though. I literally just need to install it on my computer. 
and hope it works. Oh, no, I chose the wrong path. But the only reason I own Arabian Nights is because I saw it at the retro game shop for like $5, and I'm like, there's no reason for me to not buy this. It's, fuck off. I hate Christmas. I truly am a Grinch. I'm gonna just sing the Grinch theme song. Place of actually celebrating Christmas. People have told me I can sing the Grinch song like really well. Like I can get my voice low enough for it. I'm not gonna do it though, because my throat's killing me from work. Imagine the next SSX tricky game comes out and it's just this. Oh shit, we're almost in New York. I can tell by the signposts and the garbage everywhere. No! Yay! We're in New York! Raccoons and mallards. I forgot about this part. It's another really straightforward and basic level. Wait till you see the size of the fucking raccoons, though. Oops. Wait till you see me jump into the mallard like a fucking dummy. Look at how fucking big those things are. I jumped! Now it's definitely like Shadows of the Empire because I just jumped and it didn't come out. Those raccoons are fucking huge. I've never been to New York, but something tells me the raccoons don't, don't are not that big. I can't fucking English today, apparently. Ooh, that was lucky. I definitely almost just fucking died. Think all these risky strats. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine just like finding the one person that's only ever played this as their experience of video games. They're like, oh yeah, this game's awesome. Fucking love Elf for the Game Boy Advance. It's my favorite video game. <laughs> oh, I actually hate this level. This level's like needles in my ball sack, to be honest. They used to, the keyword is that they used to love the game. Oh god, I almost got hit by a fire truck. The worst part is if I like miss one ornament in the beginning of the level, I'm fucked trying to figure out where the last where the hell of the other one is. Or where the one is. So, like, the strat is generally to stay low, even though it sucked. Oh god, I got hit by a car. And you also have to manage your stamina. Mine's getting pretty fucking low, but there is a shopping mall door right there. This is how you gain it back. You know the best way to get energy back from running all over the fucking streets in New York is to just run even faster in a doorway. And then you have the risk of that guy catching you, because if he catches you, the level's completely over and you have to do it all over again. 
I don't even think the ornaments are in a set place every time. It's like playing a randomizer. Wow. Guess the a link to the past was cool. You should play fucking Elf for the Game Boy Advance. Uh oh, I'm almost dead. It's probably all the hemorrhaging I'm doing from getting hit by a car and not going immediately to the hospital. No, there was a fucking door right there! <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it to preserve my energy by tapping this or if it is to run it. I don't know the speed tech here. Buddy the elf doesn't know how to fucking bunny hop, so... No! This guy saw me coming and he still ran into me. I would too if I saw a jackass dressed up in an elf costume like this. Fuck it. Buddy needs to... I'm not gonna have enough time to recover. How could you? Dude, how could you miss this, Jackson? What the fuck? Like I said, I hate this level. It sucks. It's one of the worst designed levels in the game. Like, it's just super random the entire way through. Oh my god, how did you fucking... But Christmas Carol, nice. I'm unfortunately probably gonna have to not do anything there because I, I can't believe Buddy the Elf is fucking dead at the hands of a green Lamborghini, or not a Lamborghini, what am I saying? There's no way that's a Lamborghini. It's okay, like I said, whatever this is is gonna be world record, so. Yeah, the ornament placements are totally fucking random. Every time, that's such a dynamic and unique gaming experience. Elves do as they please. I'll try the tapping method and see if this works better for me. Oh my god, did you see that juke though? It's like these cars come so fast and so randomly, you can't tell when something's coming. It's just not possible. And the fact that you can't see both of these things unless- or both sides of the screen unless you're at the bottom... ...is a really shitty design choice. <laughs> See, even though the security guard, he knows better than to try and cross the streets in New York chasing a fucking elf. So if I can, like, run next to it and run diagonally, it seems to be a way to juke the car. I'm coming up with the strats as we speak. It only took me, you know, four tries to do it. Oh shit, there's an ornament. And I'm out of energy, so I can't run. I love how my health slowly depletes. It's like I get hit by a car, and like I said, I'm just eternal, internally hemorrhaging. Or it's the lack of nutrition from eating spaghetti and maple syrup for my entire life. Physically impossible. I don't know, man. I've, uh, I've seen a few things that'll happen where you catch an elf and you know the results are not pretty, in my experience. I've seen enough hentai to know that when an elf gets caught, something bad's about to happen.
Ooh, lucky placement right in front of that. Although this does promote a good idea, you know, good, you know, practicing good cardiovascular activity is how you successfully maintain good health. God damn it, that's some quality pasta. Did I do it? Yes, I did. Thank God I don't have to do this level again. Getting vibe checked by a tiny gremlin like Wolf Herald. Oh shit. I forgot this is a thing. It's all about solving puzzles fast. The worst part is you can only rotate these things one direction. I don't even think they're the same every time, it's just... God, I fucking hate minigames. Oh god, you get to see his hands. Those grotesque hands, and I have to play Simon Says. You guys are gonna have to help me with this one because I'm bad at memorizing shit. Oh man, I just realized there's no zero key, so I can't get floor 420. Look how fast my response time is, though. We have to do this like three times, that's the best part. Oh god, and it only gets more complicated. Wait, what the fuck? How am I supposed to do this one? Oh, never mind. Wait, no, that's a loop. Oh, I definitely did not think to do it that way. How foolish of me, this is why I'm never gonna get a job at UPS. Oh wait, I was like, this should work, but it didn't. No, what the fuck? That didn't work that one time. I don't want an elf to appear at my door unless it's a, at my door unless it's a big titty blonde elf. Oh, I didn't even see that. Fuck, what is it? Eight seven three six. Might as well just call me the fucking mailman. And the gimmick is that they get more difficult each floor. I think in the next, like, the next floor you have to do, um, or the next level you have to do five numbers. It's five more than I'm willing to try and memorize. Look at me trying to explain the intricacies of Elf for the Game Boy Advance. Like this is a goddamn lesson or something. This is a very disorganized mailroom. Wait, what the fuck? How am I supposed to get this over here?
Like, seriously. How do I get this over here? Oh, I see. I'm just not thinking. But shit. At least these work, and at least they're like instantaneous. That's kind of nice. these puzzles I've seen so far in the entire times I've played this game have been unsolvable. Three eight seven two nine. This is where I'm gonna need the most help because I'm stupid and I can't remember more than five numbers. Two three six nine four. Shit. That was too fast. And this is one of those instances where I'm very much glad that I'm not playing this on a Game Boy Advance, because this would be an absolute sack of pickles to try and do. This is Kingdom Hearts. It only gets better. What the fuck do you mean? I hit one. No, he's not, believe it or not. He's not a boss fight in this game. There's not even a boss fight in this game. There's like a wave-based fight, but not a boss fight. When you alpha way, you don't hear me sway. So here we're gonna play Gears of War now. However, we can't hit Santa. You can even take cover. If you take if you hit Santa, you lose points. I don't even remember what like the point requirement is. Why are there elves in Santa in New York? They're supposed to be in the North Pole. The best part about this is you don't even really need to like raise or lower your aim. It's pretty much just you put it in one position and you're covered. If I hit Santa, I lose subscribers. Yeah. If you hit Santa with a snowball, it's pretty cringe, bro. I'm at a huge disadvantage, though, because they have the higher ground. Some of these bastards just duck really quickly, though. See, if you had mouse and keyboard enabled, this would be a su substantially easier fight. It would reward skill and accuracy over... console limitations. Where are the elves? I don't want Santa, I want elves. And like, if you're careful and quick, and you're a pro gamer like me, you never have to duck. I haven't even hit Santa once. You like this little shuffle I got? And if you ever thought, like, the elf character in the game looks nothing like Wolf Ferrell, this is gonna make it even worse. Just waddle and waddle and waddle. <laughs> we're about to do the Santa- we're doing the Santa boy shuffle. Ooh, I almost got hit. We're about to have a perfect game. 
They never show up on that side. It's always the left side. Like, did they just forget to program the section of the level? <laughs> he just walks out and steals my soul. Buddy the elf rips your soul out of your body and sends you straight to the ninth circle of hell. First rate, yeah, that's right. Even elf recognizes that I'm a pro gamer. You failed the vibe track. Oh shit, it's Christmas. I can never remember if it's the ribbons being the door or the, uh... No, it's not. Okay, the ribbons are the house color. I- as I proceed to do it wrong anyways. Wait, no, I'm wrong. I am right. It won't even let you throw it at something. If it's the wrong combination. It's L for the Game Boy Advance. God, that would be stupid. That's all I want for Christmas is somebody to make that happen. See, I don't even have to try. I can literally just mash as I run. It's nice to have a game where I can just turn my fucking brain off. Dude, honestly, an HD remake in the Unreal Engine. Fuck Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time. No, the Christmas present disappeared into the abyss. But... <laughs> The Christmas presents have disappeared into the void. At least the green ones are like right by each other. There's no penalty for pushing the wrong button. There's like no incentive to try and be an actually like good Santa's helper. Like, at least if I guess wrong, make me lose a meal for a day. The Soviet elf. Oh yeah, and the silver ones can go to anyone, so whoever's been like a super good kid gets like... ...a free present. It's just a box full of fucking beans. Just imagine. Come on, can we get 25 presents for Christmas? Got 8 seconds to make this happen. <gasps> Yay! Christmas is not saved. Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Get over there, buddy. Run. Yay, we did it. <laughs> Everyone received their presents. I do not think that's true. That was one neighborhood. This doesn't even accurately tell the story of Elf. Alright, time to find the sleigh parts. It's a fetch quest now. We're playing fucking Banjo-Kazooie. I don't actually remember where the parts are. But Mr. Horse Guy is gonna throw me out of the park. Okay. I forgot that Santa's sleigh is construct constructed con exclusively of... ...bolts. And that's it. Or nuts. Is that what the- I don't know what the technical term is, but I got caught by the, uh... Horseman. Oh shit, 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 balls. Fuck Christmas. Alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, in normal circumstances, running somebody over with a horse would fucking kill somebody. But I'm Buddy the Elf and I'm fueled off of Christmas magic and fucking gumdrops. This isn't even playing, like, the authentic Christmas song. Sung by my lord and savior, Nero Claudius. He's an eldritch horror. It's like if you've been bad for Christmas, he just comes down your chimney and his tentacles entwine you and pull you into the void. Alright, we're halfway there. And the horseman hasn't caught me. Gummy tentacles. Are those a thing? I like don't say gummy worms because they're not they're not the same thing. Do they actually do like park patrol actually ride horses in New York? Is anybody here from New York? Cuz I want to know how accurate this game is. I'm like itching to know because I've never been to New York. I'd like to go at some point though. It's like a craft beer mecca, to be honest. And when I say mecca, I mean like M E C C A, not like a fucking giant robot. I'm thinking about all the mistakes I've made and how, like, an actual speedrun of this would look like without glitches or anything, and it would probably only take about, like, 30 minutes at the... M no, even probably, like, less than that. Oh, I found the last one. I didn't even see what that was. It looked like a fucking bullet. About to send a message to all the bad kids. Alright, this level is fucking AIDS. Because after a certain point, if you just make a mistake, you fucking lose. I don't know how many bells I even need. Pretty sure Christmas is cancelled. Your power depletes so quickly. And like, you can't even go back. They designed this level to be played a very specific way. And if you don't know where every bell in New York is, you're fucked. Can't even slow down and just kill myself. What happened to the Christmas music? I don't know where the bells are! I did so well at the beginning, too. Christmas at risk. I- 
There's no visual indicator where the bells are gonna show up. So what happens when you rely on fossil fuels? We need to find clean sources of energy for the future. Busted. I, I'm like just narrowly missing the bells. This level's so fucking penalizing, it's ridiculous. Come on, Santa! Come on, I need the bells! I need the bells. I want to save Christmas. I want a fucking uh, I want a fucking PS4. I'm never gonna get it if Santa can't get out of New York. God damn it. I like keep getting close. Jumping too much. Come on, where's the bells? I keep I'm missing them. Santa ain't got the juice. See, I keep- I miss the bells and I fucking lose. I keep getting close, but not close enough. Come on! Who's right the fuck there? Whatever. Christmas is a stupid cuck holiday. Case in point being the fact that there's a song where mommy saw Santa kissing s Mommy was kissing Santa Claus. Fuck, I can't even. Come on, just let me save the universe. Hanukkah's where it's at. Dude, absolutely, you guys get eight days to celebrate. Where are my friends who celebrate Kwanzaa? Let me try that one year. But you don't have to deal with this shit on Kwanzaa. Come on, we're almost there. I keep... I keep just guessing at the wrong time. That's the big problem. Whatever, Santa's a capitalist anti-Christ monster. Like, this level is gonna be the difference between me beating this game in under an hour or me just crying myself into a bucket of fucking eggnog ice cream.
Dude, Flappy Bird controls better than this shit does. Like, unironically. These are difficult times we're living in. See, I guessed wrong, because I didn't remember where every fucking bell in New York is. I guess I mistimed that, so I'm wrong. Wait, I think I got it now. No, I don't. I'm out of power. I had something going. But I ran out of the good shit. Like, I just need to get the right boost at the beginning and then hold myself up in the air, but I just... Ah! No, I was so close. If I could just find a strat that worked consistently, I, it, it would be great. This would be a speed run. not enough energy in this thing. Come on. Yes! We did it! Christmas is saved! Bitches! We did it! World record! Buddy the Elf has saved Christmas! We've officially done it! And that's the ending. That's literally all you get. <laughs> oh wait, I've never played this mini game. This is it? That better not be what Buddy the Elf is. Put the presents in the bag. It puts the presents in the bag or it gets the hose again. I'm putting a dog in the bag. Holy shit. <laughs> the worst part is the fact that I'm putting the dog in the bag at the very bottom. It's just like you throw the dog in and just... Shovel a bunch of shit on top of it. What? Why? What is with this game putting the dog at the bottom? That's not healthy. Matter of fact, last I checked, putting a dog inside of a bag like that is a federal crime. Dog, robot, ball, doll, car. Hey, is that one purple? Purple. Yo, thanks for the subscription, Wild Pomeranian. I appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you, my friend. That's it? Cobbler's Workshop. Oh man, that's how I felt at work today. Sort the shoes. Oh, I see now.
I understand. This is a game of matching. I didn't really understand what was going on. I keep pushing the wrong buttons. I keep rotating this incorrectly too. Welcome to Payless. <laughs> I think I've got the strats down now. Whatever, who the fuck wants ugly ass shoes like that for Christmas? I dead ass think the factory's out of shoes. I think I wasted them all. Oh no. Watch the next pair of Yeah, but it's not gonna be yellow. Cause why the fuck would that be the case? I usually only play the snowman building minigame. Figure it's, it's changed Christmas up a little bit this time. I actually know what I'm doing this time, so it's like... Oh fuck, no I don't. Just kidding, I'm actually such a dumb, dumb, stupid idiot. Also, those rail, like, those, like, conveyor belts look like fucking chainsaws. Uh, where are my shoes go? No, I need that! No! So many of them came in at once and now they're all gone because they probably realize making me the guy who does the shoes is a stupid fucking idea. I'm impressed by the clean 60 FPS animation on the rotation. You won't know that because you're watching it in 30, but... Yeah, this minigame's stupid. Shoes are dumb. People who spend arbitrarily large amounts of money on shoes are the weakest people on the planet. I said it. Fuck your Tims. Fuck your Adidas. Fuck your Chuck Tees. I'm out of this bitch. Look at this basic ass pause menu. Who are the- I don't know what the credits are for this game. Who made this game? I hope they're having a wonderful Christmas. Crave Entertainment, what are they doing these days? Quality Assurance Manager Tuan Trin. <laughs> Shoutouts to Steve Gay, the man who tested this game and said, yeah, everything's fine. Release it. Graves dead? <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. The hero we deserve, my boy Steve Gay. And Jeffrey Dixon. Jolly Ford. I've seen enough. I don't need to know anymore. Alright. Well, that was an experience. Playing it again. 50, 28. 
I can beat that in less time, though. I know it, but I'm not about to pursue that right now, ever, probably. Maybe not till next year. So thanks, everybody, who came by for the Christmas stream today. Anyone who stuck around after I disconnected and restarted. Um, thanks to anyone who subbed or followed or <coughs> hosted. I'm going to host somebody else now in the meantime. Uh, everybody, enjoy your Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, enjoy whatever you do tomorrow. Or if you celebrate another holiday, I hope you're enjoying it or you will enjoy it. Um, I will be most likely streaming again on Friday, which is when I plan to do my next... Um, when I plan to redo the Super Mario 64 stream. I'm going to host somebody else.